Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about fiction and how Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, and Harry Potter can uh, teach us a little bit about building a better world. Got a message. I started watching you at the beginning of the pandemic when I was still in high school. I remember you talking about Banned Books Week back then, but I didn't read those kinds of books. I read fantasy, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, and Harry Potter. Then there are some choice words about the author of Harry Potter that I'm going to skip over here. Um, now I'm in college and feel like I wasted my time, and I'm trying to catch up, but my courses don't leave a lot of time for recreational reading. I want to do something in community development when I graduate and feel like I'm going to lack depth because I didn't read anything worthwhile. You say information can get you to fact, but fiction can get you to truth. What kind of fiction gets you to truth or could at least make me better at building a better world? Sounds stupid, but what books could be inspiring to me? Not too long ago, I uh, heard somebody talk about something that was very relevant. And I can't remember who it was, and I'm certain that I'm about to butcher the profound nature in which they presented it. But the general idea was that an author and an activist, well, they really aren't that different. They kind of have the same job. They envision a world and they bring it to life. The author uses, you know, pen and paper. The activist uses their actions. But the idea is to create a world that isn't there. Thought it was pretty cool, pretty cool concept, and it seems seems to hold up when you think about it. Community development, if I'm not mistaken, is a holistic approach using using techniques that would lead to an equitable and sustainable community, and the idea is to focus on the lives of the people in it and how they interact, and and try to make that community more successful. Right. So if you're going to go into that field, my suggestion would be to read, I don't know, something like 1984. You know, that's one of those classics that everybody talks about and a whole lot of people haven't read even though they're talking about it. But that would be one because it has a whole lot of intense world building. You learn how the society functions. I think some other good examples would be... Uh, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter. Those immersive books that have a lot of world building in them would probably be pretty inspirational to somebody going into that field. In fact, I would suggest that perhaps if somebody read those types of books, it might even encourage them to go into that field. Maybe you've already been inspired. Maybe that's how you wind up where you're at. Sure, these are not books that people perceive as being incredibly deep. So, if that's what inspires you, go for it. Read what you like. Read the stuff that you like. I would focus on stuff that is immersive in world building because A, it seems like something you would like, and B, it will transfer. But uh, I would focus more on reading stuff that you enjoy, especially at this point in your life when you are a little bit overworked. And uh, maybe just guide it a little bit so it focuses more on cultures that exist in this world. Maybe go that route. Um, you've got a lot of time to read. As far as the current course load, uh, LibriVox, app for your phone. It'll read a whole lot of books to you. Maybe look into audio books. Uh, fiction is this unique thing because it doesn't matter what the topic is. If the fiction is any good at all, it's going to have an impact on you. You may not even realize it. 
it, it could drastically alter the way you see the world through little bits and pieces, little baby changes, little realizations that you're free to make in a fantasy world that doesn't exist. And if you can bring those back to the world that does, well, you might be able to create that better world you want. It goes for books, it goes for movies, it goes for music. I wouldn't put too much pressure on yourself in, in this regard. If at this age you're already this concerned about it, you'll be fine. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.